welcome back folks uh, here we are in a very very important topic in ABAP dictionary we have seen the previous lecture which dealt with the introductions for creating search helps and here we are we are going to create now the primary search help which is called as an elementary search help you would have not forgot uh, the previous tables that we created when we went with the database table creation we went and uh, we have created our own data elements and we created our own domains and we created our own table so in this particular thing what is a search help right let me show you an example of what a search help is and how it is available for the SAP standard tables. Let me take a table called Mara. Let me click on display. Let me click on the contents button. And you can see a small square, double square appears near to every field. Right? These are called search helps. So search helps are nothing but if I just click on this double square, what happens is that it takes me for the possible values from the database table for us to make use of it. So the same functionality is what we are going to provide for our table. Now you can see here when I click on the contents button for no fields that double square is appearing here for no fields it is appearing. So I'm going ahead and I'm going to create a double square. It means the search help for all the fields that I have for my table. The basic process is like I will open a parallel S11. And let me click on the search help button. And I'm going ahead and I'm going to create a search help. So let the D search help or demo test 01. I'm going to hit on create and it's going to ask me what search help do you want to create. You know that search helps are of two kinds. One is the elementary search help and one is the collective search help. In my case, I'm going to hit the elementary search help first. I'm going to hit OK. Now enter the short description. I told you before for all the SAP objects that you that you want to create, you have to go with the entering the short description. So in my case, elementary um, search help test. And now here is the interesting thing. In the selection method, I'm going to give the name of my table. Sorry. copy the name of my table and I'm entering it here. So by the time I enter the name of my table here, all the available fields that is inside this particular table will be shown as a suggestion in this box. Now I'm going ahead. I'm going to hit on DF for help. Now you can see all the fields that is available inside the database table is shown as a suggestion. Now, first of all, let me choose the first one and let us see whether the search help works. And then we can gradually go and create for the rest of the thing. Double click on the roll number. For me, I will check the importing and exporting parameter option. And let me choose one and one here, denoting the first search help for this particular table. Cool. Save the table, sorry, save the search help and click on activate. Now, what you have done is like you've created, you've enabled the option of search helps in your database table. Now let us see how we can make the double square appearing in the contents bar. I'll go back to my table name. I'll go back to my table, go with the display. Okay, choose the database table name, click on display. And change this table. What I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the roll number. Listen here carefully. And so far when we created the database table, we never touched a tab called further characteristics. But now I'm going to touch it. Click on further characteristics tab. And in here, 
you enter the search help name. What is the search help name? This is the search help name. Enter the search help name and choose the parameter. So you can see the role number is being enabled. Choose the parameter name. We are going to click on save. We are going to click on activate. Just get back. Save and activate. Now, if I click on the contents button, you can see that double square is appearing and you can see for the rest of the fields it is not appearing because we have not enabled this feature in the search help. We are going to do that in some time. Now if I hit on this, all the possible entries that we have entered for this particular table and especially for this particular field that all the fields are appearing here. And we will go ahead into the search help and we will continue to provide the search helps for all the remaining fields. Choose F4 help, name, input and export parameters. This is search help number two. Wonderful. Now three, age, importing and exporting parameter. Number three, that. City, importing and exporting parameters four and four. And finally, we have one more field called contact, importing and exporting tab. This is search help number 5 and 5. Now save it. Activate the search help. Go back to your table. The second field is name. Double click on the name. Now you have this search help as an option. Choose the name. Now you can see earlier it was only one. Now it is showing all the fields because we have enabled the search helps for all the fields. Now I'm going with the name and save and activate. Now going to the third one. This is for age. Save and activate. Get back. I will click on the city. Save and activate. I'm going to do the same process for the final field. Save and activate. So now you have given the search loops for all the fields in the database table. Now I'm going to save it. Finally, activate the entire table. Now, go with the contents button. You can now see the search help is enabled for all the fields in the database. You can check it individually. You can see for everything it has been enabled. That is fine. But check from others, other fields first. From name, yeah, it has been attached. From age perspective, you can see. It is appearing. Even if you click on anything, only the age will be plotted out here. So do not get confused of it. If you choose anything, only the city will be plotted out here. If you choose anything, only that particular combination will be plotted out here. And this is a way how you can attach the search helps to the table that you have created. Hope you have enjoyed the session. See you.